Hi everybody, it's Steve Rossetti, our man from Movie Picks, and here we are in part eight of our eight-part basic training series for Adobe Premiere Elements. And here in part eight, we have finished our movie. We've edited our video so that it tells a great story. We've added transitions and effects. We've added titles and music, and now it's time to share our masterpiece with the world. To do that, let's just go to the upper right-hand corner of the interface. We could go to the Export and Share workspace. We'll do that in just a moment. But if you just want to output your movie, you have the option to go up here to the upper right hand corner and click on the quick export button. The quick export button will output your movie based on the specs of your project settings or your sequence settings, which in this case is a 1920 by 1080 video at 29.97 frames per second, an H.264, that's an MP4 file, and it will output this media file to your hard drive. Nice and simple. If you'd like a little more control over your output, just go to the upper right hand corner and click on export and share and open up the export and share workspace. For the most part, you can go to the default settings for your export and share. About the only thing you need to worry about is its location here, where on your hard drive you're going to save your file to, and the name of your video. In this case, it's called Helicopter 2. I can change it to whatever I'd like. Now by default, Export and Share will output an MP4 of your video. However, if you go here to the Format drop-down menu, you can select any number of formats to output your video as, including a Windows Media File if you're so inclined. But H.264 MP4s are kind of the universal language of video here on the internet, or in video production for that matter. And so you can leave it at H.264 for the most part. Likewise, it's presets are based on your source material or on your project settings or your sequence settings. However, you can change those if you'd like. Most cases, just leave it as is. Now, by default, the project is output as an MP4 to your hard drive, but if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see you have a number of other options here. You can output to YouTube, directly to YouTube, so it would skip a step here. You wouldn't have to output a media file and then upload it to YouTube. You can load it directly to the YouTube site. You can upload it to Vimeo, to Facebook, to Instagram, to LinkedIn, or to Pinterest, simply by clicking on these little options here. You notice as you select a destination, you have some options here. So if I select YouTube, I have the option to give it a name, give it a channel, give it a title, give it a description, select its privacy settings, or even add keyword tags, and these will upload with the file. And the very first time you use one of these, you may need to handshake with the file site. In other words, once you select YouTube, for instance, you click the export button, it's going to go to YouTube and it's going to say, is it okay to link YouTube to Premiere Elements? Once you do that once, uh, you're set for the rest of your life. You don't have to do it again. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but it is a very simple process. Just follow the prompts and you'll be just fine. We can turn these all on if we'd like and export to every one of these sites all at the same time, as well as saving a file to our hard drive. But that's really all there is to it. To start the process, just click the export button and it starts building your file for you. And that's really all there is to it. You've finished your movie, you've saved it to your hard drive, you've shared it with the world, you're all set to go here. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know Premiere Elements in this eight-part series, and I hope you'll check out my Movie Picks channel on YouTube for specific tutorials about specific tools in the program. And if you want to know everything there is to know about every tool in the program, I hope you'll check out my book, The Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available on Amazon.com. I've got another book on Photoshop Elements if you're interested in that too. Regardless, I hope I haven't seen the last of you. Stay in touch. Happy movie making and enjoy getting to know Premiere Elements. It's a great little program. Have a lot of fun with it. I'm Steve Grissetti. Hope to see you again real soon. Take care.